What's up guys, this is Shambles11 and welcome to Random 5 on the good old Xbox One. And before we begin, a huge thank you to Kenta Morioka uh, of Moscow Limited for allowing me to bring you this game. I am one of the very few Western uh, reviewers to actually get a review code, so I'm greatly honoured uh, to receive one. So, here we are. Um, back in 1990, very late 1990, uh, Raiden 1 first came out in arcades. 25 years later, the guys started making uh, the fifth title, and here we are shortly afterwards with the 25th uh, anniversary edition. Uh, this is Raiden 5. Originally, I thought it was Raiden for all these years, so I'm glad I played this game. Uh, the series kind of carried on. In 93, we had uh, Raiden 2. Uh, 94 and 95 saw various spin off ones until we had a true sequel in 05 with Raiden 3, Raiden 4, and 07. And nine years later, here we go for part 5. Um, and why. I was really interested in this is because if you watch my other YouTube videos or follow me on on Twitter at all you'll see that I love and collect retro games uh, so when I had the chance to carry on a game that you know I remembered so fondly I was absolutely thrilled and what's really nice about this game uh, that I've thoroughly been impressed with is how it feels like a current gen game it feels like an Xbox one game and yet somehow it looks and plays just like they did in the arcades back in the day um, and on the old systems. The game essentially just has story mode, but there is plenty to do. Um, the only other mode is boss mode, which obviously you just fight the bosses. Um, there are a multitude of difficulties. Uh, we have practice, uh, very easy, easy, normal, hard, very hard, that kind of thing. Uh, practice mode uh, will actually is for people who just want to learn the attack patterns to get those perfect scores. Um, the game is ridiculously Japanese. It's fantastic. Uh, it does mean that you have these huge amounts of text to read, um, which you can skip, but as this is the very beginning, I thought I'd just <laughs> include this one. Um, but what's really, really cool is that uh, while you may get bored of this and want to skip on, the game actually carries on the story whilst you're playing um, via a feed that you will see in the top right of the screen whilst we're flying along. Um, and the main characters will kind of talk to each other. Now you can turn this up and listen to it if you want, you can turn it down and just carry on the gameplay. It won't really affect anything because essentially all we are doing is shooting and blowing up absolutely everything on the screen. Meanwhile, on the left-hand side, we have all these amazing stats. The one you can see at the moment, that big graph, will actually show you the best score uh, that is currently available online versus the average score of the top 100 players. So you can see how you're doing in comparison. Uh, and your score does go up and down that chart, which is quite cool. Now, difficulty-wise, this game is difficult. Um, you know, to get those perfect scores, to reach the top of that chart, you are going to have to be amazing, hence the practice mode. However, don't let that put you off because Unbelievably, this game does actually have infinite continues, something the original Raiden games most certainly did not have. Uh, so, as long as you have time and perseverance, um, you will complete the game. Uh, I am actually on my third playthrough. Uh, there is an achievement for complete the game with the three main ships that you get. However, there are all sorts of secret missions and secret levels that I'll be honest with you, at the moment I haven't got a clue how you unlock. I'm assuming it's something to do with maybe a point score or uh, who you do or maybe don't kill on the screen. Uh, the levels switch around quite nicely. Um, we have some verticality. It does go up and down as well as uh, turning corners like, like we are at the moment following this screen. And the areas are all very varied and very unique. There are these big city areas, we have battles in space, we have one that feels very much like the Death Star um, as we're flying through uh, and going up and down different levels and eventually uh, blow up the core of a massive alien vessel. Uh, we have areas that are on dirt roads going through forests, so you know there really is some nice variety. Um, the levels are split up into stages, as you can see on that graph there's blue, yellow and red, which is always followed by a boss battle. Now the boss battles are pretty impressive, uh, but if you've ever played a game circa 90s, you will know the deal. If it moves, shoot it. If it's flashing red, shoot it. Um, 
we have what's really cool is at the beginning not only can you pick which ship you want uh, in all honesty i haven't noticed any difference in them but statistically there's one that is average on everything one that is faster but has slightly worse shields and one that has better shields but is slightly slower pretty much standard 90s arcade choices um, but you can actually pick the three weapons that you take with you so uh, if you saw earlier there was a gem, certain enemies, you can't miss them, they all look the same, um, will drop a gem. Uh, and if you wait that gem will turn different colours. Pick up the gem when it is a certain colour and it will give you a weapon. Uh, pick it up again and it will upgrade. So you can see in the bottom left I've got a yellow bar, a blue bar and a purple bar. Um, they are my three main weapons. So I picked up two purples, two blues and one yellow. You can max out one, you can eventually uh, max out all three if you uh, time it right to pick up the gems. Um, not particularly hard to do. Um, and these weapons are all kind of unique. Um, you can pick, uh, there's, there's three options for each type um, and you can you know, pick and mix how you like, uh, which is very cool. Um, you may also see these amazing things happening in the top left. Enemy destroy 50, it says flashing at the moment. Um, that is your cheer score. There is this cheer um, system that happens, believe it or not. If you're playing this game online, and other players are playing online if they see you do one of these amazing feats and press Y they will send a cheer to you um, and you can do it to them if you see something amazing you press Y you send them a cheer get enough cheers and you can press X and call in a special attack now I'll be honest with you I haven't seen anybody else playing this when I've been playing because this is a hugely Japanese game. Uh, obviously, when I'm playing late at night, it is uh, you know a very very early o'clock in the morning in Japan. Um, but you do still get a uh, cheer attack for getting a certain number of uh, impressive feats. Um, they all are related to you know finding the hidden collectible, uh, which you have to destroy. You know, killing certain enemies, not uh, missing any enemies, that kind of thing. Um, and when you're doing that on your own, you get a, uh, a, a ship deploys two little pods to come and assist you. They will either fire things like lasers or homing rockets, that kind of thing. Um, you can, of course always press uh, the bomb button uh, you see in the bottom left I have three B's uh, in a triangle um, they are your bomb blasts and basically you are invincible while this is going on um, and everything on the screen pretty much die unless it's a boss and it will take a few attempts to kill now achievements wise um, pretty good pretty generous in fact I got my 400,000 um, uh, achievement game score um, playing this game uh, you will get a vast amount if you play on normal uh, difficulty uh, you will get complete you know, kill the boss um, there you go there's one using my special um, uh, you will get that for every boss you kill um, also uh, you will get you know kill a certain amount of enemies be hit a certain amount of times um, that kind of thing uh, I think on my first playthrough alone I was on about 300 odd G um, playthrough took I would say three hours of non-stop gameplay uh, and that was really not having a clue what I was doing and in fact I didn't even realize there was the bomb button for a long time um, so as you see I just got owned uh, but you press start and you come straight back with three new bombs so it's really not hard to finish the game um, where the um, longevity in the game comes uh, is kind of up to you uh, you know if you want all the achievements you're going to be playing it through three times um, I'm currently on 560G I've just started my third playthrough by the end of this I shall hopefully be on 650 uh, and then it's really kind of grinding out the last few achievements and finding all those secret routes I was talking about which so far I have found absolutely none um, and again if you want to reach those leaderboards if you want to be the best of the best then you are going to have to practice this game um, I uh, yes another continue uh, you will see that an awful lot on my screen uh, what's quite cool is uh, if you press the right trigger or the left trigger um, these tabs that you're seeing either side of the action um, actually change 
so it will show you information like how many enemies you've killed how long you've gone without taking damage um, yeah how many uh, collectibles you found that kind of thing on the left uh, on the right it will give you information about the level itself so it will tell you the types of enemy how quickly you kill them um, the reason I'm getting those at times sixes is because I'm killing them immediately uh, that's the highest multiplier you can get if you take ages to kill an enemy it drops all the way down to times one so chaining those big scores uh, really does depend on your firepower this is a level 10 purple attack uh, as you can see it is pretty much owning everything um, not only do those orbs lock on to the enemies anything that hits the beams in between me and the orb also takes a lot of damage so there we go i've just switched over um, so you can see uh, various stats there you can see what i'm killing you can see they're all fairly low scores uh, you also get marked like i said earlier on how many enemies you kill um, and and how few pass you by and what's actually quite funny is um, if you do miss a lot of the enemies uh, the woman who you can just see hiding in the background in the top right will actually say I know you're trying your best but please try to kill a few more bless her uh, I am trying I'm just suck at this uh, but I really really enjoy this I am terrible at these games um, I die all the time I, I have terrible coordination it appears but I really honestly guys have thoroughly enjoyed this and I would recommend it not only if you've got an interest in retro games uh, but actually if you just want some fun arcade blocks action there's not an awful lot to think about um, it does greatly depend on your reactions as to how well you do but um, even with a horrific cold like I've had recently and some late nights uh, after some busy days at work I've still just kind of plugged this in and blasted away and you know I don't worry about it I've just died again I've <laughs> just had fun um, so you know please do leave me a little comment um, if you like this if you like you know what you've seen um, do please let me know uh, leave a comment below come find me on Twitter and let me know or um, indeed try and follow my uh, Twitch channel uh, twitch.tv forward slash jams11 I will be playing this very soon um, as soon as this blooming cold clears up um, uh, we will be back into the action so uh, as always guys thank you ever so much for watching till next time